What's up everybody, Nick Bringle here, and today we're finishing up the Create Something series, part two, episode three. So for this little experiment episode, little video thing, I wanted to uh, mess around in the kitchen. I love cooking, I love baking, I love grilling, I love all aspects of food in general. In the past, I've done a few uh, little pilot type episodes of something called Bringle's Kitchen with my wife. You may have seen them before. For this one, I put myself in front of the camera and recently I kind of picked up on making bagels at home, homemade bagels. So that's what this little Create Something is all about, is me in my kitchen. This is not the same kitchen, obviously, from previous Bringles Kitchen episodes. We're in a new place, a much smaller kitchen. I was working with what I had and made it work. So watch this. Hopefully you'll be hungry afterwards and then I'll talk a little bit about how I shot it, what I used, all that, you know. All right, guys, today we're talking about how you can make homemade bagels at home. Homemade at home. This is a secret recipe. It's been passed down generations and generations. And it's really good. So, let's make them. <laughs> okay, so I think that there's a lot of people out there that have this thought that making bagels is really difficult. But one day I thought, man, I just wanna make some homemade bagels. So I thought, oh, let's do it. And I Googled it and I made them and they came out pretty good. So we're gonna walk through those steps of making these everything bagels. So you are gonna need some ingredients, nothing crazy. You're not gonna have to spend a whole bunch of money to make these bagels. That's actually why I decided to make homemade bagels, save a couple extra bucks on these bagels that you buy at the store, I can just make my own. So you're gonna need unbleached bread flour. You're also gonna need a pack of instant yeast, uh, fast acting yeast, I don't know, I just found it on the shelf and bought it, that's all you got. You're gonna need some salt. Uh, we're working with Himalayan pink salt crystals because we're bougie like that. Um, you're gonna need some brown sugar. You're gonna need an egg, but you're just gonna need the egg white, not the, the yolk part for some reason. I will talk about that later. You're gonna need honey, and the most important part, you're gonna need that everything bagel seasoning because without that, it's just a plain bagel. I mean, come on. And then as far as cooking utensils, you'll need a few mixing bowls, some measuring things, and a, like a baking sheet, and some plastic wrap, just the other essentials that you get. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is activate the yeast. Um, whatever that is, I don't know, but we have to do it, it's a part of it. So let's do that first. So you need about a cup and a half of water and we warmed it up to about 100 degrees. That's about what you want there. So we're gonna add in our water here, roughly cup and a half. Hey, give or take, what are you gonna do? So you got the water in there and we're gonna put in our yeast. And I don't know what in the hell this stuff is, but it's uh, pretty, pretty essential. So you get all that in there, and then you just mix this up. And then we're just gonna cover what in the actual. All right, once you get that all mixed up, then you just get some plastic wrap, cover that up <laughs> as best you can. And, <laughs> and then. <we're laughs> And then we're just gonna let that sit for about two, three, four, five minutes, and then uh, we'll come back to it and do whatever comes next. Two, three, four, five minutes. <laughs> okay, so we've waited five minutes. The yeast is ready to go. We're gonna add some other ingredients into the preparation of the dough. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see. You're gonna get your hands dirty a little bit with this. Um, you can use a mixer, but I don't have one. I use my hands because it just feels better that way. It just, you really get dirty, you get in there, and you're making bagels. I think that's what makes it taste better, honestly. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna add four cups of bread flour. This is the first thing. Next, we're gonna add a tablespoon of brown sugar. 
two teaspoons of salt or just whatever you think is gonna work. Just put it in there. Okay, so we got it all in there. Now we're gonna start mixing it all together. So as you'll see, uh, we will use this little spatula thing. Just use whatever you got. Um, and it's definitely gonna get really chalky and tough, which is a good thing. You want it to be really coarse and just rough. And it's gonna be a little bit hard. That's what she said. <laughs> to get it all together, but you're gonna do this for about five minutes or so and really get it all in there. And what I like to do is, um, after I've done this for a minute or so with the little spatula, clean this off, get some of this excess, and then I'm gonna get my hands in there. And it's gonna be pretty sticky and dry at the same time, which is a little odd, but will be both. All right, once you kind of do that, I think we're I think we're good on uh, good on this. We are going to move over to our surface over here. We're going to add a little bit of flour. And now we get the kneading process. So we're going to knead this for a minute or two. It's very important, very important part. I don't know why, but I think that it's just, you know, you're making love to the bread and you're letting it know that you're gonna take care of it and you're gonna make some really good bagels with it. That's, that's all I know, that's, that's what I was taught, so. Okay, so once you are, you feel comfortable about it, you get into this nice big ball bread shape, whatever you wanna call it. So you're gonna need a little bit of olive oil. You're gonna pour it in here, just a little bit. You don't need a crazy amount. And uh, you're gonna add your, add your dough in there. You're gonna get it all oiled up. Okay, get it into a nice little thing there. And then we're coming back to this great plastic wrap again. So then you're gonna need the plastic wrap again. We are going to cover this up. We're gonna cover this up and you're just gonna leave it out room temperature for the next 60 to 90 minutes. I like to go the full 90, so it's gonna rise and uh, then we're gonna be moving on to the next step, so. Okay, so we've waited about an hour and a half. We have let the dough rise. And now, the magic begins. Let's unravel this. Oh, wow, look at that. Just look at it, look at that. Okay, so right now, I'm getting ready to punch this dough in and we're gonna knead it a little bit more and shape it, cut it, do all that stuff. Uh, while we're doing that, over here, we've got some water that's coming up to a boil because that is where we're gonna do something called the water bath. Again, I'm just following instructions. I don't know, I didn't make this stuff up. Okay, so here we go. Gonna wanna get this. Yeah. So you punch that out, okay? And basically, we're just gonna take this out Drop it down here, and basically we got this oily dough, and uh, we're gonna kinda knead it out just a little bit, nothing, nothing crazy. And you wanna work on a surface that's no flour, so we cleaned off the flour. Um, we don't want any flour on that. All right, so. We're gonna flatten this out a little bit and we're gonna cut it up, and we're gonna be making eight bagels. This yields about eight bagels. Could be more or less, depending on the size, I guess, um, that you wanna work with. All right, now we're gonna slice it up. All right, slice this up. All right, so now you're basically stuck here with these eight pieces of dough. So now we're gonna be shaping these little guys into what is eventually gonna be the bagel. So here you'll need just a little bit of flour on your hands. And uh, 
So you're gonna be shaping it into what the bagel is going to look like. Now, don't worry too much about how ugly it looks right now because trust me, once it bakes and rises and gets all golden brown, it's gonna be delicious, it's gonna look right, it's gonna look good. Okay, so once you've shaped all the bagels, they got their little holes in them and everything, you're gonna to wanna to have that water bath ready to go. So you'll have that water boiled, you're gonna have that raw honey in there, mix that in there, get that water nice and hot, and we're gonna drop in our bagels four at a time, and we're gonna let them sit in there on each side for one minute at a time. So two minutes, basically, they're gonna be in there. Okay, so now that we've given all of our bagels their bath, they're clean, they're beautiful, they're glazed up and ready to go, now we're gonna add another coating on it of egg. So it's just gonna be an egg white. So crack your egg, get rid of the, the yolk, we're just using the egg white, and just plaster it on there, be real liberal, get it all on there, get it juicy. And uh, then we're gonna be adding our everything bagel seasoning. Again, be really liberal, get it on there. Just, yep, put it in there, get it all over, make a mess, it's gonna be good. And now we're ready to put it into the oven at 425 degrees for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. Just look at it, watch it. I like to sit there and just watch it for the entirety of the bake because I'm just, I just get mouth watering and I just wanna eat them. So uh, just keep an eye on them. You want them nice and golden brown and then take them out and we will check out what they're gonna look like then. You know? Okay, so here we are. The bagels are out. They've been cooling for the past 10, 15 minutes. Obviously, they're not the best shaped bagels of all time. This isn't something you're gonna buy at your local grocery store that's gonna be packaged. These are homemade, homegrown, made with these hands. And uh, they look pretty good. Definitely brown, crusty, uh, bottoms look good. Usually these are really soft at first, so it's kinda, they don't cut the best. But you can definitely see Look at that's just beautiful bread in there. So we'll go ahead and just throw these in the toaster for a second. Get them a little bit crispier on that inner bread thing. And then we're gonna throw, no I didn't, I didn't press the bagel button, sorry. And then we'll throw a little bit of butter on it. Of course we have the best butter in the world. I don't remember the brand, but it's the best one. Kerry Gold, thank you. Uh, it's the Kerry Gold. It's really good stuff. All right, so we got them out of the toaster. Just a just a slight toast, nothing crazy. I'm gonna put a nice coating of butter. I'd like to get a lot of butter, as much butter as you can get. We don't want to live too long. And I like to. Ooh, that's hot. That, ooh, that's hot. Cut that bad boy up so everybody can try a little bit. Let's see here. Mm. Oh. Very good. Very. Okay, so to shoot that, there was just a few things that went into it. First, let's talk about audio. I strictly went with a lavalier mic and uh, it, you know, it works okay. In that environment, you have a refrigerator, you have some fan noise, some things like that, but you work with it and you just go with it. it it's your own video, so who really cares, right? For some of the shots, I kept the camera on the sticks for those really wide shots. Now, anything that there was movement in it, I had my wife play uh, director and camera woman. So uh, yeah, anything where the camera is moving, anything like that where I'm in the shot and talking, she was shooting that and she did a great job as usual. Everything was shot in 4K, 24 frames a second. I think there might be a few slow-mo clips in there that were shot, I believe, at 60 frames, but for the most part, 24 frames a second, 4K, S-Log2, got some LUTs on here, and uh, yeah, color graded it, obviously, and made it look as good as I wanted it to look. I think if there's one takeaway from shooting something like this, that is you definitely want to be prepared and do a lot of pre-production and planning and a lot of thoughtfulness into how you're going to shoot these sequences because you're making something that does take a bit of time and things have to be done in a certain order and also 
might have to be done at specific points in the recipe and you wanna capture those certain things. So I don't think I did it perfectly. I probably didn't plan 100% the best way that you could, but it's definitely a first and you can build from that uh, as you're gonna shoot other things. So that pretty much does it for this Create Something series part two. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Just again, wanted to have fun picking some different uh, themes and sequences to put together and shooting some short films and just using equipment and continuing to create and evolve the inspirational uh, gene that is within me, I think. I don't know. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. If there's something you want to see that I haven't maybe thought about shooting or doing or talking about, let me know. And as always, if this is your first time, to my channel. I would encourage you to go check out some previous videos and maybe you'll subscribe. You might just like me and some of the other videos. I don't know. Go for it. Try it out. And uh, hit the like button, throw a comment down below, and I will see you, I don't know, at the next video. So in the meantime, go create something.